It's about that time we start cutting the buffing now. It's been about a week since I painted the car. It's just been sitting out here in the booth. We had to get rid of this orange peel. It's a few scratches here and there because I had painted this before I painted the car. And the car cover, it had leaves on it so it kind of scratched the paint up before it hardened up. But we're going to take care of all that. Let me walk around the car. Show you what it looked like. It's a little orange peel here now. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but spot like factory orange peel. It ain't too bad. But we're gonna smooth all that out. I usually use this rotary buffer and block sand it, but sometimes I use the DA to sand it. I just switch it up sometimes. It's a Hubbard Freight rotary buffer the tr traditional way but I had ordered some more equipment here kind of cut down on my buffing time because buffing is time consuming I ordered about $1,500 worth of equipment here it's Rupes I'm going to take everything out the box sit it up here on the table show you what we're working with Alright, this is what we got here. I got the machines here. I got the LHR12V. I bought this just the same with. I got a 5 inch backing plate and I'm going to use these. Let me get them here. These sanding pads here. 5 inch sanding pads. And I got the LHR15-3, the big foot mark 3. This is what I'm going to be buffing with. Then I got the LHR 75E. It's a 3 inch, it's a mini. And I'm going to use this to buff also on my little errors that I can use the LHR 15 Bigfoot. Then I got some McGuire's microfiber pads. Got the 5 inch and the 3 inch. Got the root pads compound. Then I got the foam pads by Rupes, they 5 inches. Then I got the wool pads here. 5 inch wool pads. Or just a foam pad. Then I got the 3 inch wool pads. Just to find what course just a just a medium. Same way with this one here. That's the wool medium and the wool course and the foam pads the blue is the course the yellow is the fine and the white is the ultra fine it coordinates with the polish you got the blue the yellow the gold they do doing color and the white Let me open up these boxes here and I'll show you the machines. Alright, this is the Bigfoot Duetto. This is the Bigfoot LHR 15 Mark III with a 15 millimeter throw. And this is the Bigfoot Mini, the LHR 75E with a 3 inch backing plate. This has got a 5 inch. This has a 5 inch 
like I said, it's got a 12 millimeter throw. Like I said, I'm gonna use this just to sand, to put my sanding pads on. But it's real nice though, Rupes, top of the land. I think it'd be well worth the investment to cut down on time. Because, like I said before, cutting and buffing, it's a job. So we're going to get started with this one here. We're going to put, I think I'm going to just go straight to 3,000. See if I can get away with that. Got it right here. But if I can't, I'll drop down to 2,000. Cutting it. So let's get everything set up and get started. Alright, we got the Dueto. I guess that's how you pronounce it. But, we're going to try to go with this 3000. So we're going to put a sheet of 3000 on them. We're make sure it's centered. See how good this is going to cut. And we ain't going to actually be wet sanding. We're going to be damp sanding. We're just going to mist this water on to the surface. And cut it. I sanded this here. Well, I started back there with 3000. But I dropped down to 2000 because the 3000 wasn't cutting fast enough. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to show it to you. Let me dap it a little bit more. Just dump the surface. Then I grab my sander. take this rag and wipe it off once it dry we can see what we're working with you can already see right here I need to cut it down some more because you still can see the orange peel but once it dry we'll baby see it more now you can see the orange peel a lot better since it's done dried there's some trash. There's some trash there also. Orange peel. And around the edges, you really can see it. The piece of trash, trash, and trash. I'm just going to hit the rest up with 2,000. Then once I finish the car with 2,000, I'll go back and hit it with 3,000. So let me take care of that.
I just wanted to show you something. This is how it look without me saying it. You can't really tell there's no orange peel, but it's there. When I sand it lightly, you'll be able to see it a lot more. So I'm gonna sand it lightly and let it dry. Then I cut it back on. Then I sand it completely and show you how smooth it's supposed to look. All right, I hit it lightly. Wipe it down. Let that dry up. Now you can see the orange peel a lot better than just glossy paint. Now I'm going to bring it down more. It need to look like this up here. I got this down flat. So I'm going to bring all this down. This is what it need to look like here. I just did this spot just to show you. Instead of doing the whole car, I'm going to finish it up. Then I'll cut you back on once I finish the whole car up. But everything flat, once I buff it out, it'll be good to go. Got all the orange peel out and the trash nibs. Alright, I finished up with the 2000. As you can see, I didn't worry about doing this lower part. Because the orange peel, it ain't noticeable down now. And I mainly done it to get this trash out that was on the flat areas. And I got along the side at the top. But once I buff all this, it'll blend on in. But I didn't bother about doing this part here, back here. It was pretty flat. I done this part here over to here because the light going here that's going to be covered up. I done the whole deck lid. All the flat areas I done. I didn't bother by doing this part here though. I didn't do around where the handle going to be. I didn't bother by doing that. Some of these little spots, you might still see some orange peel, like right here. But that 3000, it's going to take care of that. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take this 2000 off. And I'm going to go with some 3000. This 3000, it's not going to take as long as this 2000 did, because we done got the, the flat areas, we done got it flat. We done got the orange peel out, so the only thing we're going to be doing is getting the 2,000 scratches out with this 3,000. Which we could go straight to buffing, but it's best to sand than buff because sand and keep it a lot cooler than buffing. It's going to heat up the panel. I started with the 3,000. I already did this area here. You don't want to work in a big section. About two foot by two foot should be fine. But you just want to mess it on like you did the 2000. And you're going to start seeing the shine start coming back with this 3000. Because it's kind of dull now. But when you hit it with the 3000, it'll start bringing that shine back. I just did three passes. You could do four. It just all depends on how much clear you got on it. But I did three passes going this way, then I came back going the opposite way. But this is all you got to do. Just work your way around the car. I'll cut you back on when I'm done. Finished up with the 3000. 
I had to go back and cut the edges by hand where I couldn't get the sun to that. Now I give me some fresh water, wipe everything down, get ready for the buff. Well, it's dried up now. I think we're good to say. We're ready to start buffing it. So we need to put these pads and stuff up because we finished with the cutting process. And I'm going to bring out everything I'm going to be using to buff. I haven't decided which pads I'm going to use yet. But we'll decide in a minute. Everything we could possibly need for us to buffing stages. We're not going to use this. We had used this for us to sand and process cutting. We got the big foot 15 millimeter throw. Then we got the big foot mini 12 millimeter throw. It's a 3 inch pad, 5 inch pad. And I was trying to decide which pads I'm going to be using. I got the foam pad, the coarse foam, then I got the coarse wool pad, and the coarse microfiber pad. The difference, like the foam pad, it produces less heat than come the wool pad, the market fiber, it's going to produce more heat than all of them. So we got some heavy cutting we have to be doing. So I think we're just going to skip the foam and the wool and just jump straight up to the market fiber. And I, once I cut it, we're not cut it, once I buff it with the market fiber pad, I drop down to a foam. Well, I think I got one down here somewhere. I drop down to this pad here. Well, not that. Yeah, this one. The yellow foam. I think I got one in this bag here. Yeah, I drop down to this pad. And that's going to get all my swirls and my haze out that the market probably left. So let me get this uh, pad here set up on my big foot. Then we'll take it from there. I got the Meguiar's market fiber pad on my DA. And on these pads, they got everything coordinating for us, the root pads. They got the white ultra fine polishing pad with the polish. It's a white bottle. And the yellow. It's the fan polishing compound, and the blue is the coarse cut compound, and we're going to be using this blue. But first, we got to prime the pad, so let's go ahead and get that done. I'm just using this bottle top just to spread some compound on there, just for priming purposes. Once we prime it, we don't have to do this. We can just put two drops at a time on each section of the panel. Now we're gonna put this on the we're gonna put it on speed two and put it on the panel and let it spin for like 20 seconds just to prime to get everything spread it around. Got the pad primed. What you're trying to do, you want to make sure all the fibers coated with compound. Then I'm just going to put two dots on each part of the panel that I do. I'm just going to put two dots. That'll be good. Then also, I made up me some IPA mix. It's just alcohol and water. I made it 10%. And I'm just going to use this as my panel prep. The panel wipe down. We're going to be working in a, I say, 16 by 16 section. When you're doing this, you want to work in sections. You don't want to do too big of an area. And we're going to do like four passes. We're going to do one pass this way, then we're going to go back and go the opposite way. So we're going to put it on the speed of four and get started.
like that was four passes there. We're just gonna take our panel prep, spray some on there, see what we got. The shine should be coming back now. This is what four passes look like. I know it's kind of hard. This camera ain't picking it up because of all this black, but and the ceiling, getting a glare from the ceiling. But this four passes here. Let me step back some. You can see the shine coming back, but you can also see you still can see the scratches up in there. So I think I'm gonna hit it one more time. And that should take care of that. Then I just do the whole entire car. No need edges here. I'm just gonna use the small one, the three inch. This one here. I'm gonna use this one for the small areas. So let me. I guess that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit it twice on all the areas of the car, and that should be good because I still gotta uh, do another step after this one here. I'm gonna go with a polishing compound. So let me take care of that. I think we'll be good to go. You can see it right there. It really look good right there, but if you look close, you still can see the scratches from the 3000 grit sandpaper. I'll cut you back on once I hit it again. This was one more pass. It's coming together now. I think the polish, it'll bring it on out. I still see a few scratches, but I think I'm gonna leave it right here. Then let the polish take care of the rest of it. going back and forth with a wood pad and a microfiber pad but what you want to do after every little section I take my blow holes and blow the fibers out but let me take you around the car and I'll show you what I done did a lot of done got dust back on it like these sides I 
I still got to do up in here because I'm going to use my 3 inch to do that. I haven't done that yet. But you can tell the difference. But I don't need all this. I done did the whole deck lid. I stopped right here. I still gotta do this side. I pretty much got everything that I could do with the big foot. Now I gotta touch everything up with this mini with the three inch pad like around here. Also here. This back here on both sides. Also here. You can see I didn't get it good. Finished up with the coarse compound. I still gotta wipe everything down. I'm just gonna take my IPA mix, wipe all this compound residue off because you don't wanna cross contaminate the compound with the polish. It'll be just like your steel compound if you leave it on there. So let me wipe it down, then we'll get set up for the polish. The second step. Alright, I wiped it down and everything looks real good. I see a few spots here and there. You, got, you still can see the scratches, but overall, came out great. Could have been a one step for real. I don't see no swirl marks or nothing. So, I'm not going to actually go with the foam pad. I'm going to use this medium wool polishing pad with the polish it's the same as this McGuire's ultra fan polish or the 3M step 2 machine polish but I'm gonna try this out and see how it works I'm just getting ready to prime the pad Trying to spread it out. Then I get started.
pretty much now only thing left is cutting in the edges with the three inch pad I just got to put it on I'm finished with everything. I just gotta take it outside, clean it up. Then I should be good to go. Start putting everything back on. Once I clean it up, I'll cut it back on, give you another shot at it before I start putting everything back on. Stop. Right from the bottom to the top, from the